we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section three dimensional geometry and the question is based on the concepts of lines and plane this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 25th june 2022 in the shift 1 the given question is let the lines l1 whose vector the whose vector equation is given by r vector r is equal to lambda times i plus 2j plus 3k where lambda belongs to the set of real numbers l2 r is equal to i plus 3j plus k plus mu times i plus j plus 5k where mu belongs to the set of real numbers these two lines l1 and l2 intersect at the point s if a plane ax plus by minus z plus d is equal to 0 passes through s and parallel to both the lines l1 and l2 then the value of a plus b plus d is equal to we are given two lines l1 and l2 and it is given that they intersect at the point s and if a plane ax plus by plus by minus z plus d passes through s and parallel to both the lines l1 and l2 then required to find the value of a plus b plus d we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail we are given two lines l1 and l2 now what are these equations and we recall the equation of a line passing through a point capital a whose position vector is a and parallel to the vector b is given by r is equal to a plus lambda b so thus l1 is a line passing through the origin and parallel to the vector i plus 2j plus 3k and vector the line l2 is passing through 1 3 1 and parallel to i plus j plus 5k and it is given they intersect at the point s given a plane ax plus by minus z plus d passes through yes the point of intersection of l1 and l2 and parallel to both the lines l1 and l2 so we were asked to find the value of a plus b plus d first let us find out the point of intersection of l1 and l2 that is what are the coordinates of s so the point of intersection of l1 and l2 is given by now any point on l1 is of the is lambda i la, any point on l1 is lambda x is lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda any point on l2 will be 1 plus mu comma 3 plus mu comma 1 plus 5 mu so they intersect means these coordinates must be equal so lambda is equal to 1 plus mu 2 lambda is equal to 3 plus mu 3 lambda is equal to 1 plus 5 mu now solving 1 and 2 for lambda and mu we get lambda is equal to 2 mu is equal to 1 and this solution satisfies the third equation also therefore the point of intersection of l1 and l2 is given by so take the lambda values so lambda is equal to 2 and substitute in l1 in l1 so the point will be 2 4 6 so the point of intersection of l1 and l2 is yes given by 2 comma 4 comma 6 we continue in the next slide so we have found the point of intersection of l1 and l2 that is yes 
is 246 and uh, now we want to find the equation of the plane passing through S parallel to both L1 and L2 that is the equation of the plane through S whose coordinates position vector is 2, 4, 6 and parallel to I plus 2J plus 3K, I plus J plus 5K. So that is we recall the equation of the plane passing through a point A whose position vector is A that is A1, A2, A3 parallel to vectors B and C is given by the determinant x minus a1, y minus a2, z minus a3 that is the first row. The second row is b1, b2, b3, b1, b2, b3 means the vector b, c1, c2, c3 means the vector c. So a1, a2, a3 means the vector a, the position vector a. So in our context a1, a2, a3 is 2, 4, 6 b1, b2, b3 is 1, 2, 3, c1, c2, c3 is 1, 1, 5. Therefore, the equation of the plane passing through S yes, whose coordinates are 2, 4, 6 and parallel to i plus 2, j plus 3, k and i plus j plus 5, k is given by this determinant. So, the determinant whose first row is x minus 2, y minus 4, z minus 6, second row is 1, 2, 3 that is b and the third row is 1, 1, 5, that is i plus j plus 5k. Expanding by the first row, we get this. Simplify. So, we get 7x minus 14 minus 2y plus 8 minus z plus 6 is equal to 0. That will give rise to 7x minus 2y minus z is equal to 0. But we are given the ax plus by minus z plus d passes through S and parallel to both the lines L1 and L2. But we got uh, the, the equation of the plane passing through a, S that is and parallel to both L1 and L2 is 7x minus 2y minus z. So comparing this equation with that equation ax plus by minus z plus d is equal to 0, we get a is equal to 7, b is equal to minus 2 and d is 0. So required to find a plus b plus d so we get a plus b plus d, a is 7, b is minus 2, d is 0. So you get 5, the answer is 5. So the answer to this question is 5. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem from the section 3-dimensional geometry. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem. I wish you all the best. Thank you.